This video is brought to you by Wedge Life Designs, the only place to get new retro theme indie merchandise. WedgeLife98.com Alright, snowmobile compression test for beginners. Um, things you're going to need is your spark plug wrench. You want to remove all the spark plugs. Um, I like to tighten my tester. I mean, you know, just like you would a spark plug, you don't want it leaking out. Um, and then cold engine I prefer a cold engine because you know cold start you're gonna you want to know what it is on the low and it's always gonna be higher warm it should be so you want to know what it's gonna be on the cool side of things um, you always do wide open throttle that lets most amount of air in um, I haven't seen where it makes a huge difference some say it does that's just how I do it you pull until your needle stops climbing you should you shouldn't have to pull over six times. I give it four or five good pulls usually. We'll do five on this one, so we'll get right into it. There we go. That's pumped right up good. Um, so you're, depending on what engine, your compression is gonna be different. Most of these old Fuji engines are 125, 130 max. Um, you get below 100, that's the rule of thumb when you want to rebuild. And also, if you have a cylinder that's different than the other one by, say, 5, 6 PSI, um, then you're going to know there's issues. So, I always take one when I go to buy a snowmobile, and just so I know what I'm getting. Now, if it's a junker I'm going to part out, I'm not too concerned. I know it's got issues. I don't worry about it. But if it's something that, you know, they're saying, oh, it's got a good engine, well, you're going to find out. You compression test it. You get one or two cylinders or all of them are bad, you know, then you're going to know what you're buying. So you, just a little uh, buyer protection. That way you don't get scammed over. But also, you don't want to, you know, you want you want to know how you make sure you're doing it right. That way you're not telling someone that their snowmobile's blown up when it really isn't. So... You know, tighten that compressor, compression tester in there, snug, and give it four or five good solid pulls. See what your reading is, and do it for all one, two, or three cylinders. Um, that's about all there is to doing a compression test. So, thanks for watching.